The chairman of the People's Democratic Party Board of Trustees, Senator Walid Jibril, on Monday said there were plans to bring all party members, including the River State Governor, Nyeso Mwike, and other aggrieved members together ahead of the 2023 general elections. He said members of the party's board would meet Mwike and other aggrieved members of the party for reconciliation. He also said the Board of Trustees, being the conscience of the party, would meet on Wednesday as a follow-up to the meeting of the governors in order to unite party members ahead of the elections. Well, joining us to discuss this is Opunabo Inko Taria. He's a civil rights advocate. Uh, he's also former special advisor uh, to, special assistant, I beg your pardon, to Governor Wiki. Advisor, no, you're right. Oh, special advisor. Okay, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Great. You are the best man for this job tonight. Let's start by looking I don't at. Know about that. Let's look at the list of demands that the. In fact, let's give. Let's backtrack. Let's look at the reason why we're here. First things first. Governor Wiki, as we all know, contested to be a candidate for the PDP as a presidential candidate. Now he obviously came second. Now Atiku is now the flag bearer, and he did pick Governor Koa um, as his running mate, even though there were rumors that it was Wike that would have been the favored one. But here we are today, a few weeks later, we're still talking about the, gr uh, the grievances within the party, and Governor Wike seemed to have been quiet for a bit uh, immediately after, um, you know, that particular, uh, you know, election. Many have said that Governor Wike did not deserve the treatment that he got from the former Vice President Atiku Abubakar. Others are saying that, well, Governor Wike has been the soul of the PDP, even when it was abandoned by the others who would have been also um, the bigwigs. And they're saying this should have been an opportunity for him to be rewarded for his good work. But I'm asking you, what are your thoughts? Is this supposed to be a reward system like kind of party politics? Or is it about the man who the cap fits? Well, um, the choice of a candidate, especially that of a running mate, is planned on the plethora of um, issues. And those issues are as defined by the principal, that is the candidate himself. In this case, we are talking of Atiku Abubakar. Atiku Abubakar, oh, so sorry. For some reasons, opted for Okoa. Some of these reasons are in public domain. Some are just uh, mere conjectures because Atiku has apart from the day of the selection where he said he made the rain the kudium to Nokoa, I don't think he's really made any comments again, made any statement again on the issue of his running mate. But you see, I must tell you this, yes. Yes, I'm the one week was more or less, I said was because the button has changed, was more or less the pillar of this party, the financier of that party. And so a lot of people argue that for what he has done for the party, to sustain and maintain the party, he should be, excuse me, rewarded with the presidency, or the, at least the vice president presidential uh, a slot, haven't lost the presidential slot. But that to me is high on the sound of the voices of his loyalists. Because Atiku will want somebody he can comfortably work with. Now, don't misunderstand me. When I say somebody he can comfortably work with, I am not talking of somebody that is competent or incompetent. There are two different things altogether. Atiku strongly believes 
that he has anti-party, with which the anti-party has an A N T I P A T Y. In other words, when it comes to politics, they are not compatible. And a lot of issues would have been responsible for that. Now, some argue that we can have this predisposition to authoritarianism and bid election for combat, even with gratuitous. And I said to them, or to most of the solar, I said, look, even what is going on now will underscore, will bolster that argument. Atiku had a running battle with his principle. And Atiku will not want to have that running battle with his vice. So he will want somebody that would more or less be, be lawyer in court to him. Okay. That is compatibility. I'm not talking of competence, please. I'm talking of compatibility. And it is the exclusive preserve of the candidate to choose his running mate. You cannot impose that running mate on the candidate. Even yes or week, they refused when a candidate was supposed to be imposed on him. When they suggested a candidate, he refused as a governor. These things are not new. Like uh, uh, the former uh, Lamido, I think it was Sule Lamido who said, how did he suffer the same fate? I imagine he has suffered the same fate. And a lot of others have suffered the same fate. So, I did you, Wiki, you have also posted such a fate on a lot of other persons in the state. So you just accept, lick your wounds, and move on. But then, but then it looks like the party is very sensitive, of course. Now, you made mention, and I did so, uh, about the fact that he had carried the party somewhat on his back metaphorically. Um, but then the, the party is indulging in him and saying they want to have a peace, um, you know, forum. They want to have a conversation to, uh, one way or the other, reconciliate um, or have a reconciliation process for all those, not just Governor Wiki, but all those who are aggrieved. But then there is a list of demands that his group has put out. And I want to, uh, you know, quickly read them out and, and take your thoughts on it. Now, they're, first and foremost, they're seeking for a single term from the former vice president, Atiku Abubakar. They're asking for the party national chairman, Yocha Ayu, to step down as chairman. And, and then they're also asking for sudden positions in the National Assembly leaderships. Uh, and, and these are some, a few of the things that the, the group, uh, the Wiki group, is pushing forward. Let's look at them realistically and politically and how achievable or if you would even get a nod from the BOT and that panel or that reconciliation uh, team that would be sent. Please, as I go ahead with analysis, to remind me, let's start with the single term. It is ludicrous. Why I say ludicrous is the man can just agree. So it's okay, yes, single term. He gets into office. It is his constitutional right at the expiration of his ter 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 tenure, to recontest. Are you going to stop? Are you going to stop him? You can't stop it. The only way you can stop it is through the ballot. Simple. So you can just say yes. So what have you achieved? And don't forget the power of incumbency. And let me say this. I tell you, if you remember, Autumn said that he, they will not support Atiku. Oh, this, that, and that. But just last week, he said the primaries have come and gone. They now have a candidate. Atiku is his candidate and is going to support Atiku. What does that tell you? My uncle said something to me. When you are going to war, you have to be very careful. Mm. You might have a hundred soldiers behind you. 
By the time you get midway, you look back, you have 50. By the time you get to the world front, you look back, you are probably alone. So he has to be careful. A lot of these persons will go, I know, I know already has started, he has said it. He said, the, the, the uh, articles is candidate, and that he will support article. He has started. In nineteen nineteen, they will say the same thing. You see, this, uh, this is the truth. So, if he says one time, and at the expiration of that one time, even if he puts it in writing, and decides to recontest, what are you going to do? By which time, a lot of these persons that are today protesting will want to ingratiate themselves with him because he's a sitting president. That is what is going to happen. What are you going to do? By this time, you're also no longer in office. So your class has vitiated. Your class has waived. He has the class. What are you going to do? It makes no sense. Mm. It makes no sense. He can, he can just say, yes, I agree. And that's all. Don't we? And what will happen? It's not binding. Legally, it's only binding morally. And a lot of people are telling you, it's, it's politics. Mm. Politics, they say, is a concentric circle. It, uh, and, and, uh, 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 and uh, with articulated interest. Hmm. Okay. Of yes. conspiracy. Concerning the of conspiracy with articulated interest. And that is what is playing out. Yeah. That's exactly what is playing out. Yeah. Uh, just so to. I don't tell you yes, I agree. And at the end of the day, what happens? Let's talk about him asking for Yocha Ayu, who just recently uh, was, you know, elected as the national chairman of the party. He's asking that he steps down. Don't forget, Secundus, Uche Secundus, who is from River State, who was the um, I live chairman. Uche Secundus as well. Yes, um, he, he, he also was summarily, I mean, the way in which he was dismissed from the party uh, and the party leadership, it's still another kettle of fish to be discussed. And now, uh, Dr. Wike uh, is asking for uh, Yocha uh, Ayu to step down. So I'm wondering how achievable is this, bearing in mind that the elections are just around the corner? I can tell you this. I can tell you this. That is just a wishful thinking. Atiku would not want that to happen. And not just Atiku, a whole lot of persons. Not necessarily because they love Atiku. Not necessarily because they love your child. But the protest will be planned on the fact that one man cannot dictate to the party at every point in time what to do and who their chairman should be. Because it will be perceived as tyrannical. And every spirit will vote for tyranny. The question will be why is it that whenever a chairman is adverse uh, is, is to your position, you want him? Mm. Are you the only one in that party? You met that party. Yes. For some time, like you rightly said, you carried the party on this path, metaphorically. But you met the party. You, you came to lie like on that platform. So the party existed. And others also formed that party. And at one point, they carried the party on this back, on their back. They did not dictate to the party. The life of the party failed the presidential election. People, these are the founders, founding fathers of the party, including the article himself, how many times did the article fail? So, people will resist it to say you cannot be dictating to us. This has nothing to do with Iyoki Ayu or with uh, what, uh, Atiku or anybody. They will be protesting, they will be protesting the issue against the issue of tyranny. They see tyranny. So once a party chairman disagrees with you, he leaves. Okay, if this party chairman disagrees with all PDP governors, then how many how many chairmen are we going to have in the year? Who don't will get out to work to say this man should go. Uh they don't will get out to work. By how many chairmen are we going to have in the year? How many? Or some will say this man, how many are we going to have? No, it's not done that way. It's not done that way. Okay. You said something about the relevance uh, and the political clout of Governor Wiki after he does leave office. Let's let's zoom in on that. Um, I said if he continues on this trajectory, mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. If he continues on this trajectory, because at the end of the day, should Atiku win, 
you know, you understand our politics. Success many fathers, really enough. So that people win, a lot of persons will go groveling before him. A lot of persons will go and apologize and beg to be accepted or readmitted into his fold. It is normal in politics. And those same persons, because Atiku is has become the sitting president, those same persons will turn their backs on him. I'm talking about wicked, because he's no longer in office. So this is this this is an opportunity for him to mend fences. That's the point I'm making. Okay. You don't need all those demands. Let me tell you the truth. In fact, I have a conviction that any agreement, accommodation of risk, at this point in time, will not be taken seriously by Atiku. Because he already has a mindset. It will not be taken seriously. He might just agree and say, okay, let me win this election first. We should, you shouldn't have taken it this far. You shouldn't have. Mm. No, it's not necessary. Finally, this big batting and uh, in the, in, in the and it's not completely unnecessary. Fi finally, what, 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 what if you were to give your two pence to the Governor WK Tim, you know, being that this meeting, uh, we know that there is a, a BOT meeting that's going to happen. We know that there's a panel <coughs> that's being set up, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. What should Absolutely. Governor Wiki and his camp and members of his camp be thinking? What, how should they be strategizing? Again, looking at the lifespan of his political, uh, you know, um, I mean, for him in the party, uh, does he still have, will he be able to continue to hold on to the clout or the uh, structure that he has within the party even after he's no longer governor? You. What let does me, he me, need to do? Once you are out of office, your 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 class is vitiated. First and foremost, you don't even have the resources that you probably had when you were in office. Because the, the money are not coming monthly. That's number one. Number two, you don't have that fusion associated with the office. Somebody else is there. You have another another governor. Yesterday we had the peace out today. That's nature. That's that's the trans that's the that's the transient nature of life. Yes, it was Peter Anthony. And we all know what happened to Peter Anthony, how close he was to changing. It was the closest in fact. And if Peter Anthony had been that teacher, he would have been the president of the first of Nigeria. Peter Anthony to a government who sustained the party. You know, it's once you're out of office, people tend to forget you. Mm. They remember those that they know that are in power. And so the role you play while in office would determine your longevity in the game. Okay. And your relevance in the game. That's why I say he needs to suspend that at this point. Because there is nothing he will do to change this, the status quo. I think who is the candidate, Okoa is the vice presidential okay. candidate. You can't change that. So just flow with it. All right. I'll come up with all the demands. Should we win? What is there? What is in for me? Even if you say I have achieved a lot, okay, I have followers. What are you what, what do you have for my followers? Mm. That is what the leader does. Okay. What do you have for my followers? What are point of my followers? That is what the leader does. But not a question of removing your are you uh, yeah, the one that, no 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 so those are reasonable, reasonable demands as far as I'm concerned. Well, uh, on that note, I want to say thank you. Upanabo Inko Tara is a civil rights advocate. He's also a former special advisor to the governor of River State, Governor Wike. Now, uh, we'll keep our eyes on this story and watch how it develops uh, in the coming days. Thank you once again. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you all for being part of the conversation tonight. We are going to be back tomorrow, seven, same time at 7 p.m. on Plus Politics, looking at the biggest stories on the Nigerian political scene and, of course, across Africa. I am Mary Anakon. I'll see you tomorrow as we talk for development.